Hello, it's like in here. Here to show you the the Big Bird in the workshop uh, coloring. He's you see the Big Bird, and then along you see the um, uh, a few other other which call projects is uh, like the you know, size and the length and then and then the width and then the, and then the, along with the with the, a doorknob which is called doorknob uh, is carved it uh, pretty much carved out wood and then and along with it the measurements right here as you see is uh, that the measurements it's like if it were to be measured into uh, like a cabinet so you got some squares or you could be you know rectangles or something like that that that, 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 that you would have like a little diagram right here that you would be able to draw maybe a circle or a rectangle or an oval or you know whatever type of shape that you want you know for like a diagram to show about what you what you'll be building and um before you perform uh, your, your your project to, to where you would uh, form like a diagram right there and um you'll be able to know what what you'll be doing and uh, is like with the size and then along with the measurements along with the like you know which call the, the measurements so far as the recessed and uh, it's like you have a uh, so far as like a uh, with the measurements is that, that you would have uh, so far as right over here is you had the saw and then you had the the, the screwdrivers the flat head and then what you call the Phillips Phillips shaped head and then along with the drill and then uh, along with the with the with the straight line the cuts and um, but you see that along with the measuring stick you know, the me measuring tape but that you could call it a measuring tape or a stick or something like that but um, but uh, you see is that that uh, most of it's like after you get done with all the cutting and then the drilling and then the, the and then the, along with the, the putting in the screws and stuff like that with the hammer and nail that the, you know you would like which I'm sure a lot of people probably don't want to take the time to use sandpaper it's like you have sandpaper with the different thicknesses and the, like you got the I don't know what all they have now but they have like a, what you call they go by the, the brands about you know the letters of the alphabet or you know numbers, but uh, they have that one where you go from thin to the thicker, the the thickest, and um, use the sandpaper. And a lot of times, which as far as I remember, is that they use the sandpaper to to use sandpaper on the surface of the wood to make it smoother, so that way it won't be so rough. But um, you had the the sandpaper and along with the stain, you know, with the with the the paintbrush you know, for a stain, and so for a stain bugging to make the make that the wood shine a little bit more make it look a little bit more finished but uh, got that the which you call the finishing the finishing polish I guess you could say the the finishing surface polish that uh, uh, make the the wood shine but so far as the big bird is that uh, that you know you would uh, you know have like the level meter uh, to be able to, to make a project and uh, I remember whenever I was in shop class I remember some of the stuff that the uh, that you would uh, be working with the your screws and then uh, along with the, the the signs for the Phillips head and then the flat head screwdrivers and uh, along with the nail but uh, you got the hammer and nail and then along with the with the few screws and um, and uh, you would be able to build something and um, of course you know it's safety goggles which I don't think that uh, Big Bird it's like it, those right there would be called safety goggles but the, you need yourself pair of safety goggles and then uh and then uh what you call a brand with a saw or or a drill or something like that if you'd be doing some drilling but um well if you know your measurements right which uh, I'm sure everybody here has like you know it's like that that whenever you if you were to take shop class that you don't want to mess with all the the stuff like uh, you don't want to mess with uh, with uh, you know taking the test and all you know what that the mathematics uh, measurements or so far as is the measuring and then uh, along with uh, it goes with uh, maybe the, the different tools and stuff like if I remember when I was in shop class I remember the bandsaw was one of the, the tools that we used and then along with um, with uh, I think uh, it was a uh, bandsaw was one and then the, the actual uh, uh, another type of saw that if I'm trying to remember what it was but that there was about three different saws I used and then along with um, you know which uh, along with the uh, paint uh, a little bit of painting and uh, along with a, a few hand saws that uh, that I used and then screwdrivers but um, but uh, you know never used <laughs> a blowtorch I guess a lot of that welding and stuff will be kind of like separate you know from from foot wood uh, from shop uh, but uh, but so far as a shop that uh, 
that uh, you, you would have like a different variety of tools to work with and um, and it was these right here will be the like uh, say the main tools but they got the door knob right there carved out of wood but then if uh, one of us see here is like want to build something that may last us a long time which it would be as, as a clock it's like a, you that uh, I'm sure that um, we all would like to maybe build a clock one of these days I know I I made a clock one time but then I remember that uh, that um, that I didn't have all the parts I think you as you say you build it and then that and then you had to pre-order the parts and then if I remember right that I never took the time to, to order the the right parts uh, for the for the for the front part of the of the, of the clock to where the where the where the actual uh, winding of the clock starts it's like you know the front part right here is that uh, you mount that in there to uh, to wherever you had the frame and then you put the batteries in there or something like that but the, that you know you would if you were to want to build something it would maybe you know a clock something like that something that has like that that form type of a shape and then uh, along with the with the with the stain and it's like is that if it has if it shows up and it has that that the right level level measurements is that in, instead tilt it will be like a what you call these uh, these two uh, which is like I don't even know really how to work a level meter or like whatever they call it but that whenever you you level something that the, that that you know that's a type of a fluid that 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 you would read you know know if it, if it's a level or not or if it's a, if it's tilting or something like that but you got the level meter and along with the, the measuring tape and then and along with the screw uh, the screwdriver and then along with the the perfect cuts you know for the saw but um, a lot of people if they were to be doing a project and it's like you know <laughs> they probably just maybe want to do a few cuts and then maybe uh, well, working with a few that the hand saws but I guess you may not know what you're doing unless if you follow maybe these steps is like if you were to do the the measurements uh, do the measurements on like a, like a diagram or something like that and uh, to know like you know what what exactly what you're going to be doing what you're going to be working with but um, but uh, but of course it's like uh, you know, that I guess a lot of people like you know, a lot of people would would uh, you know, like to be in the hobby habit of uh, like to be in that type of hobby and habit of um, of uh, you know having a workshop one of these days and if they were to have a workshop and then and then take the time to do the the right measurements and stuff before they build something but um but so far as as building something that uh, a lot of times it's like if you were to to build something that they you know have your mind on set on a few things is like maybe to work with it maybe the different shape you know the shape that you can work with for what you want to build such as maybe a cabinet or maybe um a cabinet or such as a doorknob you know a knob or something like that knob to go on a cabinet and uh and then a clock it's like something that you know it's gonna you know it's gonna last you a long time but, uh, but anyway so far as this big bird and uh and workshop is that uh, get you get yourself a hundred percent you know for all the hard work and then along with the you know, a plus and so far as the size and then the length and then the width and then the measurement but and then along with the hammer and nail and then along with the right that measurements and and the tools and stuff and then along with the clock and there they are it's like a big bird workshop